Hello, everyone. My name is Shane German, the music director at WYCE 88.1 FM in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And today we're talking about theater, community theater. Circle Theater, which provides theatrical arts in an intimate setting, has opened auditions for select productions in its 2021 season. This July, Circle Theater will move back into its space on the Aquinas College campus after a year of being dark with a production of Cabaret. Winner of 12 Tony Awards, this masterpiece of musical theater set in 1931 Berlin as the Nazis are rising to power focuses on the nightlife at the CD Kit Kat Club and revolves around American writer Cliff Bradshaw and his relationship with cabaret performer Sally Bowles. Overseeing the action is the master of ceremonies who welcomes the audience and assures them that they will forget all their troubles at the cabaret. Virtual auditions for cabaret are are currently open now through March 28th, and I'm joined by the production's director, Will Geary. Hey, Shane. How's it going? I'm good. How you doing, Will? Oh, I'm doing well. Excited to be on here. Excited to talk about Cabaret. Well, it's been uh, pretty much a whole full year of a lot of our local community theaters just being completely dark, but Circle has uh, kind of done some virtual um options for their audience members uh, throughout the year, uh, pre-recorded, you know, kind of video uh, productions of plays and and whatnot. Um, and they've decided to go ahead and open back up for this new uh, season. Um, they're going to be doing a few things. They're going to be doing the gin game, Always Patsy Klein, which is a musical uh, tribute to the legendary uh, country star Patsy Klein. And then uh, you're going to be kind of your main show is cabaret talk to us a little bit about the show yeah so uh and like you said they're going to be doing gin game and always patsy klein but then we get the honor and privilege to be the first one back on the main stage in july uh and we're decided to do cabaret but we're going to do a little bit more intentionally different this time uh or so instead of what we circle is normally done with the uh open casting and uh, colorblind casting. Uh, we are intentionally looking for people of color to play the main leads and uh, tell a story through their eyes, uh, especially in this interesting time of uh, 1931 Germany as Nazis are rising to power. There's uh, stories to be told there and Cabaret was a good choice to be able to tell those stories. And you've also got uh, one of uh, a, a local legend, pretty much. Deborah Perry is going to be uh, working as uh, mm -hmm. one, of, one of your music directors. Uh, for people who may not be familiar, uh, Deborah Perry, Majestic Praise. Uh, we've got their mm -hmm. music in our music library. They've worked uh, with uh, a local artist Cameron Blake. Um, so who all is uh, kind of on the production side of this? Uh, so other than myself, I have uh, Tori Thomas, who's going to be our choreographer, uh, Vanessa uh, Allen, who's our music director, along with Deb Perry, uh, as you stated, a uh, local music legend and just music legend in general uh, with the production side. And then we have uh, Katie Dreer, who is our, doing our lights. Uh, and then we have Don Wilson also doing the set design. And uh, Bill is going to be doing our costumes. And it's just I'm so happy to have people on the production side of the table. And then also, uh, uh, we just were, I think everybody's enthused and like, and excited to one, get back on stage, uh, and do things back on stage, but also just to come together. Finally, you know, it's been a year. Uh, it's not just getting back on stage, it's getting back on stage and after a long time off. So, uh, I'm excited. I know everybody else is excited too. So, uh, I've done a lot of uh, community theater here in Grand Rapids. It's got a great, uh, thriving mm -hmm. um, pool of very talented uh, actors and musicians and performers. Uh, what if someone's interested in auditioning, but maybe are a little on the fence because they've never done it before? What do you suggest to them uh, to kind of get them over those nervous hurdles? Well, I think 
this year especially is a great time to get back into uh, uh, community theater or uh, first time auditioning for community theater because we are trying to do as, as COVID safe as possible. So for Cabaret, for example, we're holding virtual auditions until March 28th. Uh, if you're not able to do the virtual auditions, we also will have an option to do live auditions as well. But if you're a little on the fence, you're a little scared, virtual auditions are a great way to tape yourself, look through, and then be able to send it off and say, I tried it without being in a room full of people staring at you on stage. Cause I know that's very intimidating. I started community theater in Grand Rapids and I'm always still nervous whenever I audition, even if I know people on the other side of the table, uh, it's a kind of an intimidating thing, but I think this year for, at least for cabaret is a great way to start, uh, by doing it virtually and then easing yourself into a loving community throughout Grand Rapids. Uh, I've been, very, very blessed to uh, audition and be a part of most of the community theaters in town. So I think this is your time, your, your chance, if you're on the fence, to try auditioning virtually and then see how it goes from there. You know, and I recommend even if, you know, musicians, uh, local musicians uh, that might be watching or listening to this, uh, give theater a chance. Uh, you will meet wonderful people in the community. They're all very talented. It's still music related and it gives you your kind of uh, those performer juices and uh, to do a legendary stage production like Cabaret, um, it is a really great way to kind of get your feet wet uh, in a completely different creative and artistic uh, uh, sector of our community. Um, it's still the performing arts. It may not be rock and roll, but uh, you know you can certainly bring your rock and roll talent uh, to the stage. What, what do uh, local uh, actors need to submit uh, uh, for their video auditions? Well, uh, for the video auditions, we are going to be asking for one uh, piece of up-tempo up -tempo music, uh, 16 bars, and then one ballad, uh, 16 bars of that. And that's what we're going to ask for the auditions. There's no monologues that you need there. We will be looking through, uh, Tori, Vanessa, and I will be looking through, and then we will have a callback uh, in April on the 9th through the 11th callbacks that then we'll get to see you in person and you'll get to the chance to dance and then read for me and then Vanessa will have you sing as well. But for auditions, specifically for the virtual auditions, just one piece of up-tempo music at 16 bars and one ballot at 16 bars. Well, if you are interested in uh, trying your hand at uh, mm -hmm. local community theater, Cabaret mm -hmm. is holding auditions now uh, virtually. You can go to circletheater.org to learn more, as well as to see what else is coming up in their se uh, summer season uh, for the return of Circle Theater. Will, thanks so much for taking the time to meet with us today. Thank you so much for having me. I love it and please, please audition. Uh, it is a great stepping stone to get into the community. Thank you, Will.